Daikin has an advanced filtering system that comes with several models called Flash Streamer. In combination with the other filtration systems, the standard dust filter and the titanium appetite filter, Daikin creates one of the most advanced filtration systems present in air conditioners. Flash Streamer is present on the following models, Perfera, the FTXM, Stylish, the FTXA and Ururu Sarara, the FTXZ. Next, we will see a presentation about how Flash Streamer inactivates the coronaviruses. The novel coronavirus continues to mutate and people all over the world have been infected. Daikin Industries has demonstrated that its unique streamer technology for air purification has an inactivating effect on various novel coronavirus variants, including the Delta and Omicron strains. This video describes in simple terms the mechanism by which streamer technology works and the test methods that have demonstrated the inactivating effect on coronavirus variants. Daikin's streamer technology utilizes four decomposition elements produced by activating nitrogen and oxygen in the air using streamer discharge to inactivate harmful substances in the air. The elements key to streamer technology, nitrogen and oxygen, make up about 99% of air. Even in the streamer's discharge range, which is one cubic centimetre, there is a huge number of molecules, approximately 27 quintillion. Streamer technology utilises the abundant nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the air to purify the air. Streamer discharge increases the amount of energy by acting on the nitrogen and oxygen in air producing charged nitrogen and charged oxygen, which have an inactivating effect on harmful substances. Charged nitrogen and charged oxygen also act on surrounding water molecules and oxygen molecules, producing hydroxyl radicals and oxygen radicals. The large number of these four streamer decomposition elements produced can alter the molecular structure of harmful substances thanks to their strong oxidative decomposition power. In this way, streamer technology effectively inactivates harmful substances such as viruses and bacteria. Once their role is fulfilled and their energy used up, charged nitrogen and charged oxygen return to stable nitrogen and oxygen. Streamer discharge repeatedly acts on the nitrogen and oxygen that have been restored, enabling the four streamer decomposition elements to be produced as many times as necessary. By this mechanism, streamer continuously acts on harmful substances in the air. This demonstration was conducted in collaboration with the research group of Professor Tatsuo Shioda of the Research Institute for Microbial Diseases, Osaka University. The virus variants were placed in a plate inside a streamer testing device and using an evaluation method called TCID50, the virus's survival rate was measured after one hour, two hours and four hours with and without streamer irradiation. In this test, inactivated viruses turn blue and infectious viruses turn transparent. By measuring the virus survival rate based on these changes, it was confirmed that after four hours of streamer discharge, streamer technology inactivated more than 99.9% .9 of the alpha, beta and gamma strains, and 99.8% of the delta strain compared to natural attenuation. Also, 
for the Omicron strain, an inactivation effect of more than 99.9% was confirmed with streamer discharge for two hours compared to natural attenuation. Similar demonstration tests of streamer technology have been carried out for various harmful substances. In addition to the novel coronavirus variants introduced here, we have also confirmed the inactivating effect on various other viruses, such as the influenza virus and norovirus. Daikin continues to move forward, carrying out similar demonstration tests that verify the effectiveness and promising potential of streamer technology.